what uh, people don't understand is that these residents and citizens of the Turks and Caicos Island, they are bent on that free speech will not be muzzled again. Lord Ashcroft won't stop it, neither will Dr. Cham Kane. Um, no entity, the, the PNP won't stop it, neither will the PDM stop free speech ever again in the Turks and Caicos Islands. What transpired in the last six years with the media here in Turks and Caicos Islands, we will never see that again. The site was only operational for more than three weeks before another major entrepreneur attempted to take legal action and in the process they were once again shut down by their host company but this time not completely terminated. It had something to do with Dr. Chem Kane and his lawyers in, in London. Uh, actually what happened is the, the company that the journal uh, uploaded with a few weeks ago um, actually had a, had a parent company connection in London. So Dr. Cham Kane was able, lawyers was able to go through London to, to muzzle the company, extended company in, in, in the other region that, that it was being host. Um, so it's just a little hiccup in the road and we will get over it. Um, I'm sure Dr. Cham Kane won't be the last one to, to, try, to try this. The web blog, known for its political overtone, was temporarily shut down yesterday, May 5th, by its web host based in Asia in fear of legal actions from CEO of Dallas Key Construction, Dr. Cham Kanai. Kanai told News 4 in a written statement that his concern with the journal is its repeatedly published articles that he said were inaccurate, distorted, irresponsible and defamatory. Contributor of the site, Sean Malcolm, said that the articles posted on the site concerning Kanai are based on transcripts from the Commission of Inquiry. His lawyers has contacted the company, mm -hmm. and even though there's no order to shut it down, that, um, most companies don't want to be embedded in le legal issues. And this is what developers with a lot of money, these people with a lot of money who think their money can do everything for them, that's what they that's what do. They, they go and they muzzle these people. And so, which is fine. At least we knew then. Uh, now, uh, the journal is aware that this company had links in London. However, in the press statement, Kanai further noted that, quote, Lawyers acting on my behalf wrote to both the TCI Journal and the company that hosted their website and requested that they remove all defamatory articles that the TCI Journal has published about me. I never requested that the website be shut down, only that the defamatory material about me be removed. My understanding is that the decision to shut down the site was made by the company that hosted it. I had nothing to do with that decision. For me, my country, Turks and Caicos Islands, come first, and I think that the reputation of the Turks and Caicos should not be irresponsibly damaged. End quote. Malcolm disagrees. Actually, the request was, was um, to take them down completely. They wanted, they wanted every article that mentioned the name Dr. Chem Kane to be pulled down off the site. Um, the editors of the journal wrote back to his lawyers four days ago and said, well, give us the details of what actually was said that is derogatory about you, that is not true, and uh, uh, give us that, and, and the editors will, will look into it. Well, it's four days later, they haven't been able to come forward with what was said. On March 30th, articles considered fictitious were posted about Vice Chairman for the UK's Conservative Party and frontman for TCI's Belize Bank, Lord Michael Ashcroft, caused the then host, Cyber Host Pro Limited, to shut down the site. Malcolm says their new host will not do the same, and he's 100% sure of it. A temporary link currently appears on TCIJournal.com and transfers bloggers to a backup website, www. TCILikeChina.com. Malcolm said that the website is to ensure that freedom of speech is never trampled over, even when TCI Journal runs into lawsuit threats. Kanai said that he has the greatest respect for freedom of the press. 
The web blog has a vast readership that stretched in over 193 countries and is read by hundreds of thousands of readers daily. TCI Journal is expected to be operational by Friday, May 7th. News 4 will keep you updated on this developing story. For WIV 4 News, I'm Nakira John.